I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. These are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And they hit him in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 24-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that one. right away. I love to watch quarterbacks on third down. Just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and there's their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He's able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. He pick up the first down to get a new set of downs. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air with a play-action pass. First and ten. Ball on the 45. And he carries the ball for a nice game. there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Fights forward to about the 36. The defense comes up with a stop on third down. Well, for some reason, they thought they'd be able to pick up the first down on the ground. I'm very surprised they didn't try to pass for it. Ohio State could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. like they're ready for the kickoff he kicks it off and he got all of that one he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 23 the Gators have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader we found that out this week talking to him we sure did Brad it was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game finding out that he called a players only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Fires it out. Good tackle there in space. for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. He 
He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The halfback took the pitch but couldn't find any running lanes. And there were no running lanes because this defense had so much penetration into the backfield. He would have been lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. He gets another carry. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Fires out to his receiver. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. Wilson is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. From the 15. Tackle at the 31. Pretty good job by the return man there. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Ohio State has a three-point lead. Out of bounds around the 37-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He scrambled. Tackle made around the 41-yard line. at midfield. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at the 41. And now he's got room to run. Brought down around the 30 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 30 yard line, it's first down. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Buckeyes lead 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Ohio State is up a field goal. run and he's brought down second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down gets it he's in space they'll bring him down at the 16. And this play is number eight on the drive. Tackled after decent pickup. From the 12 yard line, second down. Touchdown, Bucks! And he adds the extra point. 
A nine-play, 69-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop around the 42-yard line. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Got it on the quick throw. And down he goes at the 28. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick throw to the tight end. Inside the 10. Nice move, and he scores. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. So an eight-play, 76-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. The score now, 10-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ohio State holds a field goal lead. The halfback option gets some 10 yards down the field. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He makes it to the 38-yard line. And 
and he's taken down right around the 40. Design quarterback draw there, and it gets him about two yards. This linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 40-yard line. Third down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. A gain of one. It was a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The Gators quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's yeah, not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. He's got it with room to run, and he hits him hard at the 44. That makes it first and ten. man watch out here steps out of bounds at the 46 yard line that makes it second and eight from their own 46 yard line it's second down makes the catch and look out and he shoved out of bounds at the 31 yard line From the 31 yard line. First down. He fires this one. That close to being intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Caught and he's brought down quickly. Florida is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled right around the 22 yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Florida is down three and looking to tie it up. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. False start offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is up, and it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Buckeyes are going to call their second timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. 
Going deep, lays it out there. It's the sophomore that's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. He makes the PAT. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 17-10, Buckeye. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Dirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 27. Makes it to the 28-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made right around the 34. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Ohio State is up a score. Taken down at about the 49. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 to the 20. And he's finally brought down at the 8-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down around the eight-yard line. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. Well, it's a good job here to just secure the football, but he just doesn't have enough speed to turn that into something big. Nice 
Nice run up the middle. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Pitch out. Got the corner. Touchdown, Buckeyes. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So a six-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. There was some movement on the line. Ball start. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43 yard line. From the 43 yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 43. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. That'll make it fourth and two. Kicks up. And he nails the long field goal. Florida to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Quick pass. He's tackled around the 47-yard line.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Throws after the running back. No good. Three down and one to go. The Buckeyes in front by 11. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offensive worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. That's a great tackle at the 31. This is the 10th play of this drive. the four. That gives him 100 yards in the game. you got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. This is the 11th play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Decides to slide. Second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one yard line. Touchdown, Bucks. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Tacks on the extra point. So a 12 play, 74 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 25. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Yeah. 
He wants it all. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. He lets it go. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 38-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 18-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. The 10. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the nine-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Quick out to his receiver. Touchdown, Florida! So the offense is going to go for two. at the 47. Ohio State's dreams are a reality in this football game. They've scored 21 points in a row. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes it to the 45-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from any. And he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Seems as though they didn't want to risk stopping the clock on an incompletion, so they kept it on the ground. Fourth down now. And this is when you have to overpower the defense to keep moving the ball. That time, they didn't succeed. Time's becoming a factor now as the offense takes over after the punt. They need to score here, then recover an onside kick and score again. Although this game isn't over yet, I just don't think they can accomplish that feat with this much time left in the game. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Watch the motion. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made around the 40-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Now this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Fires complete over the middle. He's taken down at the 48. Spikes the ball. 
It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. A little over a minute in the game. Quick throw. He's at the 30. Brought down around the 25-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they come to the line with a first and goal. Bring him down just outside the goal line. That's a genius man. That brings him second and goal. They try to get a head start there. Full start offense. Just the middle lapse, but it's going to cost him five yards. Still second and goal. It's second and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's tackled right around the two-yard line. Five wide. Flyers over the middle, touchdown. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. Under a minute left in the game. Caught with room to work. He's pushed out of bounds around the one-yard line. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped him, but it just wasn't to be. Makes it out to about the 13. Florida's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his abilities to make plays. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.